kuma mweno shwa wa mobadha to the account ya kakamega kule muhura niri wa geturo kia governor account ya kakamega na kia makia ODM Fernandez Baraza ni anori ya aikia akura account ya yo maumire kwa wige gudhura na akia riadhuda wagu ikia kura ya ke Baraza ni ata tire igoro lia jama shia uheani wa maki ishu ini kia ubuge kia matungu akira komisyon ya gedura na yo aikinyare ya wadho igoro lia shie kwa ishio a uh, kwanza kabisa uh, nimeshapiga kura hapa Bulimbo Primary na shughuli ya kupiga kura imeenda sawa sawa uh, jambo ambalo ningependa uh, kwa si na pia kuwatangazia wafuasi wetu hatuko uh, na low voter turnout watu watoke kwa manyumba kwa wingi ili wakuje wapige kura uh, kwa sababu kupiga kura ni haki yako uh, nimeonelea hapa Bulimbo is one of the biggest polling stations hapa Matungu lakini hatujakuwa na very high voter turnout na mimi kama kiongozi wa hapa ningependa kuambia wale wote ambao wajapiga kura wakuje kwa wingi ili mchague gavana wenu mtarajiwa ambaye ni Fernandez Barasa na labda kushana usalama na mikakati ya ABC katika kuhakikisha kwamba shughuli hii inaendelea vizuri uh, mambo usalama uh, iko salama hatujakuwa na visa vivyote hapa za usalama Jambo tu ambalo tumeona kwa wingi sana ni mambo ya voter bribery. Uh, mpinzani wangu ambaye ni Clefas Malala amekuwa akinunua wapiga kura wengi sana kwa vituo mbalimbali. Nimetembea hapa Matungu almost all the polling stations. Uh, there is a lot of voter bribery which in my um, considered opinion hiyo ni an election offense and I want to urge IBC na all the security agencies to make sure they take action so that watu wapige kura kwa haki na uhuru that, without that, intimidation that's a very serious allegation do you maybe have any evidence uh, in to that and if so you have reported the authority we have already reported the authorities uh, even here we had people were dishing out money uh, we have evidence so i've already reported the authorities uh, issues around voter bribery because it's happening all over the place in fact when you move around you like your witness Uh, the voter bribe is uh, is all rampant across the board and that is why i'm asking ibc and all the security uh, agencies uh, to make sure that they actually prevent voter bribery uh, people should be allowed to exercise their democratic right by voting without uh, coercion and intimidation is this low to voter turnout is it related to with the, the postponement of the election maybe from 9th to today uh, i opinion? think in my opinion uh, the vote, the low voter turnout is typical of a by election uh, this is more or less like a by election and usually when you have a by election uh, we don't have a very large voter turnout and that's why i'm taking this opportunity to urge all um, the supporters of my supporters uh, to come up in large numbers so that they can actually vote and exercise their democratic right of um, electing or rather voting uh, for their governor Luis Fernandez Barraza. Initially you had indicated that uh, uh, so far uh, I've only checked a few uh, cases um, uh, not here but in other polling stations where Kim's keys have failed uh, we've had around four cases uh, in Holera primary uh, we also had a case in uh, Ngairwe uh, primary uh, even here I'm told uh, there is one stream that uh, the Kim's keys have failed so what I've done is to uh, contact uh, the count returning officer uh, so that we can have an alternative uh, in terms of uh, authorizing use of the manual register uh, that is something that will also uh, affect Uh, what a turn because when people have come to vote and they are not given an opportunity because of a Kim's kid failing uh, that definitely will affect what a turn so my request at IBC is to ensure that they address the issues around the Kim's kid uh, because uh, for me it is something that um, is going to affect our uh, voter turnout and it is important when the Kim's kids have failed they quickly authorize use of the manual register because it's an alternative that has been provided by the law election is about winning and losing mm -hmm. if you lose you have to go back of course election is about winning and losing uh, but i'm confident kakamega people will elect me the second governor of kakamega county yeah if you lose you have to go back uh, definitely um if it is fair uh, i will accept but um 
What I just want to urge my supporters, we are going for nothing other than a win today. Ngoya <laughs> So far, so good. I think as a candidate, I'm satisfied with the level of preparations by IBC. I have seen very competent IBC staff, and um, uh, everything is going on well. Polling sessions are opened on time, and uh, people started streaming in by around five. I've looked at the voter turnout. So far, is at around 26, 27 percent, but we are still optimistic that, uh, of course, in any by-election, uh, voter turnout is always uh, approximately between 40 and 50 percent. So we're trying to mobilize our people to come and vote. We have experienced a lot of peace in Kakamega today, and I want to commend the Kakamega residents for having a peaceful election day. Na shugula upiga kura imenda sawa sawa. Jamba mbalo nigependa kwa si na pia kwa tangazia wafuasi wetu atuko na low voter turnout watu watoke kwa manyumba kwa wingi ili wakuji wapige kura kwa sababu kupiga kura ni haki yako nimeonelea hapa Blimbo is one of the biggest polling stations hapa Matungu lakini hatujakuwa na very high voter turnout na mimi kama kiongozi wa hapa ningependa kuambia wale wote ambao wajapiga kura wakuje kwa wingi ili mchague gavana wenyu process is too fast uh, basically given that we are only uh, voting uh, one ballot so maybe the process is slightly very quick uh, a peaceful so far i haven't seen any incidents that i can complain about of course the normal stories of people standing on the road waiting for a coin to go and vote that you can't avoid i've seen several but let's, uh, let's see what uh, the end results will be. Gwira maudu maiga naona megi ya county ya kakamega. County ya 